Welcome to the cave, Nick here from Nixner Cave, bringing you guys a new unboxing video on the Beyblade Burst Pro Series Command Dragon, it's Imperial Dragon, I'm calling it Imperial Dragon, if you have a problem with that, I don't want to tell you. But yeah guys, it's been a while since I made a unboxing video, in fact I have like at least 6 or 7 that I haven't uploaded yet, but uh, I'll get the, into that as I unbox. But you know what, this is my first Pro Series, I didn't buy it up to this point just because I don't like supporting Hasbro when they do bad decisions. This uh, pro series has been a flop thus far until this wave, so I decided to pick up Command Dragon if I like it, which I already do like it from the stuff I've seen about it. Then I'll get Lord and I'll do unboxing of Lord Spriggan. But yes, here is Dragon in all its glory. Imperial Dragon is one of my favorite Beyblade designs. It looks so beautiful. I love all the colors, but yeah, let's just get into it. Here's the Pro Series box. <sighs> it's exactly like a Takara Tomy box. Um, I'm actually surprised the Takara Tomy logo is not on here at all because, you know, usually it would be because they, they are using Takara Tomy, you know, Beyblades. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's no, there's a WBBA on there, but uh, there's no TT logo, which is weird because they... Um, would t typically do that with Hasbro products, but you know what, it is what it is, um, they actually fixed the teeth on command here, so that's why I got it, but let's get out the unboxing knife, because I'm getting anxious, and I just want to get this bay opened already, yeah, unboxing knife has seen better days, alright, oh, that was easy, on TT bays, there's like 1200 different things hooked up here, okay, oh, ho -ho, yes, and also have a good quick two, and it's an actual dash, so it is compatible with TT bays, which is awesome. And here it is. Let's get out the light launcher, which the light launcher is awesome. If you actually use the light launcher, some people swear by it. And while now, while there are certainly better launchers out there, the light launcher is still very good. And I would recommend straightening this cord out. But yeah, here's the light launcher. It's a very very clean launcher. It's actually, if you have enough power, it, it can be as strong as a string launcher. Not as strong as a um, sparking launcher, of course, but it definitely is up there. But uh, yeah, let me take this off. It, and you can use this with the grip too, which I would recommend because it just gives you a better grip. You know, you just let it rip like that. So yeah, um, light launcher, very good launcher. Here's the QR code for who, those who want it. But uh, yeah, I apologize. I haven't been making a whole bunch of videos. I just, my life's been cr hectic and Oh, it's been crazy, <laughs> but yeah, I'm back. Uh, I have a whole bunch of videos So this is from August or um, soon to be September and all the rest of my videos are probably from like April to June So yeah, uh, I'll definitely let you guys know if it's an older video or a newer video But yeah, I'm getting the swing back. I'm in school again and uh, Yeah, I'm still working Doing all that fun stuff. Here's quick, which is awesome because it's an actual dash driver which means it's compatible with um tt stuff this you can just use this on a tt bay which i'll definitely use for rage but uh yeah here is command or i'm calling it imperial because imperial is just a cooler name honestly and yeah that is so cool seeing this beyblade in real life here it is so awesome to finally have it uh, I always wanted the TT version, but yeah, th these bound, like, uh, kind of like Tempest, but definitely not a lot like Tempest. As rubber, which Tempest doesn't have. I like Tempest more, but Imperial is cool too. Here, There's metal on the side here. It's a great looking Beyblade. And all these, like, they move and they ha have cool awakening to it. But yeah, it's a GT Bay. Um, so you can take it out like this. There you go. And the cool thing is, this is a good teeth version, which means you can use it on TT bays and it'll be just fine. Because this is a dash driver, it has stronger teeth, meaning that you can use TT parts no problem. Just a uh, example, I'll show um, Ace Dragon here and I actually have charge metal on it. But yeah, let me just... Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, with, T with uh, GT bays, you need to lock it in like this. But yeah, you just uh, take it. Let me focus the camera. There we go. You do it like this. There you go. There you go. Charge metal. Charge metal's cool. But yeah, um, this has a we way weaker spring than this does, so it's compatible. You come on, it's it's a TT bay. They use TT parts. It's literally the same version of TT. Is just a little worse because Hasbro has to change the plastic and stuff. So. It's compatible. You, you, you literally can't say it is, because, come on. But, uh, yeah, there, that's that. That looks awesome. And there are stickers that I will put on later. 
But yes! Where, where are the stickers? Actually. Oh, okay, they're in the, the instructions, probably. Get this bay together. There's the Vanguard disc, which I actually never had one of these before, so it's cool to own now. But yeah, there's that. Here's the quick driver, which is a very cool driver. Oh, my camera's doing this dumb focus thing, but yeah, there's the quick driver. Let's just uh, do it like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, Command, uh, or Imperial, rather, doesn't have the best teeth ever. Um, even the TT version has very weak teeth, so yeah. Um, but that's that. That's cool. And this is compatible with TT stuff. Um, I wouldn't use a metal driver on it, because metal drivers suck, frankly. But, let's say, if you wanted to use a better GT tip, chip, sorry, rather, chip. But I just, I love the way Imperial looks. Ah! But yeah, if, I mean, come on, if Hasbro was making this... I mean, Hasbro's releasing it, but if Hasbro actually made it, they would have put GT there. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, here's the Joker, which I'll take Joker out. Just, uh, show an example here. You can just, uh, put it right there. There you go! Joker. And you can use it. It'll be just fine. And you can do that with other, uh, you do that with Zavai Luinar, and you can do that with Judgment Joker, so you can just use better, um, teeth that has better... I mean, better chips that have better teeth, just so you don't deal with the teeth wear issue, which is cool for people who have TT bays. Um, and if, honestly, like, if you wanted to buy TT, TT's cheaper than Pro Series is, believe it or not, if you look in the right places. Alrighty, we have that all put together. Um, I will get back to you guys on the base stadium. I will launch this bay. Uh, first I'll put on the stickers, though, and all that jazz, so yeah. But with that being said, let's get to the stadium, and I, uh... Hope I didn't make you guys wait too long for my next video. Um, I know I've been continuously gaining subscribers. And I just want to say thank you all to um, 1,000 subs. That's crazy. I know it's all because of my Bay videos. So I know there's a lot of Bay fans out there that watch my videos. So I just want to say thank you. Oh, there it is. Launched on my table. Or my desk, rather. But yeah. Uh, I'm actually not going to use this ripcord because I have multiple light launchers from TT. I'm just going to charge on the ripcord. I don't you know, want to break this launcher. Yeah, so all you have to do is just get hot water, put it in there, let it sit, and then just bend it back in place. It's easy. Okay, here's the stadium. It's all set up. It's been uh, washed. I haven't bay battled in about a month, so it's going to be interesting bay battling again. I'm actually very excited. So yes, uh, I'm sorry the microphone quality is a little bit bad. I just switched um, over here to, how to use the stadium on the floor. So, yeah, okay, let's do it. All right, test launch. And I'm using the grip, and I changed up the rip cord to something more straight. But yeah, three, two, one, go shoot. There we go. Heck yeah, that's quick. It's awesome. I can use that on Rage and stuff like that. That's cool. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. That's quick, all right. And yeah, you can you just switch it up, uh, do some combinations. And yeah, we actually have some bays. I have some Chozy, some GT, and some Sparking I'm going to put it up against. So, uh, let's... Actually, I'm not going to do Chozy. Let's just start GT here's slash Valkyrie. So, yeah, um, I don't have a string launcher anymore because all oh, my Sparking launchers broke. So, yeah, 3, 2, 1, shoot. Oh. Already a burst slashing last. That was awesome. That's the power of Imperial. That is so cool. Let's do Bushin Ashura, dra oh, drums friend. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Okay, Bushin sucks. Three, two, one, go. Okay, come on. Let's do this. Let's get a burst. Come on. Burst it. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Dragon is a very strong bay. It's still, you, you can probably use it today. I actually haven't been keeping up with competitive or dynamite battle. I actually don't own a dynamite bay yet, but that's going to change. I actually, um, my ace is not around. I forgot to take off my table, but we can do it against Grand. So, yeah, um, three, two, one, two. Okay, this is not going to last. Dragon first, Grand. Grand sucks. That's very consistent. Dragon has burst all the bays so far, 
and um, not even like the sparking base can burst um, stuff that consistently. That's actually like Bushin Ashura, even though it sucks, I haven't, actually haven't seen it burst that many times. So this quick gets in the hits. So yeah, let's start with uh, sparking and let's uh, let's do rage. And I actually have rage on, um, ex wow, it's a very dirty um, exceed dash, but I'm gonna switch it for um, its stock combo. So yeah, let's do it. Three, two, one, go shoot. Okay, um, I'm scared. This is a very... What? What? <laughs> what? Are you joking? Um, yeah, we're gonna do that again. I'm trying to keep the one- I'm trying to keep the video as short as humanly possible, but you know what? No, no. I refuse to believe this is a thing. What the heck? Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, rate uh destroy has the life after death, so Rage is definitely gonna take this one. Yep, okay. Um, I kinda have to do one more. I'm kinda obligated to. But yeah, this time I'm actually gonna launch Rage full. So, three, two, one, two. Uh, next, we're doing Tempest Dragon against Imperial Dragon because Tempest is awesome. Three, two, one, two. Okay. Bruh. This is such a good bay. This is a great combo. I might switch up the disc for something better, like wheel. It is wheel. Let's see if that does any better. They're doing shit. Bruh. That's so good, what? Let's do Mirage Fafnir. Let's do Mirage. I still need to get Vanish and stuff like that, but yeah, three, two, one, go shoot. Okay. Yeah, the thing with Ripcord is you have to have steady control. Oh. Okay, yeah. Mirage is gonna win this. Just off the spin steel technicalities. Okay. That was a tie, I think. That was a tie. Alright, three, two, one, two. Come on, come on, Dragon, you got that. Whoa! I heard some clicks. I know I for sure heard some clicks. So it's either Dragon's gonna burst or is just gonna lose to a spin finish. Yeah, it lost. Oh, no clicks. That's, oh, gotta click on Mirage. Okay, Mirage is out. Uh, this is kind of eh, but let's do it against um, King Solomon. All right, no, 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 um, Death Solomon, which you haven't seen my unboxing video for yet. So yeah, that's kind of awkward, but yeah, whatever. Three, two, one. Okay, come on, let's do this. Okay, dude, this this is such a good bay. Let's actually switch it back to its um stock. But uh, yeah, this is such a good release. I might pick up another one just for another quick. This is so good. What even is this? But yeah, I'm not gonna launch it first just because quick tends to lose stamina pretty fast. But uh, yeah, three two. Okay. Launched it completely flat. All right, let's see it. Um, it might actually lose because it um went around the ridge. Yeah, it's it's not gonna win. Yeah, that's uh what I expected. 
but uh, let's do that. Three, two, one. Oh. Yeah, that, it launched on top, so I'm not counting that, but that was a really, really fun match to watch. I kind of missed the, I missed this, so I'm glad I'm into it again. But yeah, three, two, three, two. All right. Three, two, one, three, two. Okay, that's some good hits. Oh. Nasty. Okay, we have to do one tiebreaker for that one. Yeah, I'm going to get it. A launcher soon. Three, two, one, go shoot. Hey, dynamite launcher. Three, two, one, shoot. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Solomon won that one. Alright, let's do uh, one more. Let's do Jet Wyvern, which has atomic, so yeah. Atomic's awesome. Three, two, one, shoot. Yeah, it's a defense type. Oh, oh, we actually had its final, oh, it's on its final click. That's fun. We had three, two, one, two. Oh, man. Oh, and well, for Wyvern. Okay, that's awesome. This is such a good bait. I'm so glad I have it now. I'm so happy I have it. Now, I can't wait to get Lord, because that looks even better. Uh, well, the lair does anyway. Three, two, one. Three, two. Okay. All right. That was the tie. That was the tie. Okay. That's the one thing about um, work for launchers, you have to reload it every time. Mm. Yeah, like to get precision, you have to have a string launcher for something like this. But yeah, that's awesome. Okay, um, overall, Dragon 1. So yeah guys, that was the unboxing of Imperial Dragon Pro Series, or Command Dragon, whatever you want to say. Um, oh, looks like some parts are even awakened. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, um, this is a very, very excellent bay. You, as you've seen, it's beat a lot of sparking bays. I didn't test it against Brave or the um, or World, but it's definitely a very good bay, and I would really recommend you pick it up. But that being said, Nikki from Star Cave signing out. See you guys in the next one.